welcome to another episode of Afterthoughts on Patreon. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com. And I want to welcome those watching on YouTube right now. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Afterthoughts, basically what happens is every time I make a video and I can pretty much assure you that anyone else who makes videos like what I'm doing, you think of something afterwards that you should have put into the video. So this is why I have Afterthoughts and I release this on Patreon every month. So let's get into it. Before we get into this, this morning I was led to read an article about this girl who got attacked by a shark. And here she is right here. Her name is Paige Winter, 17 year old girl. And the shark attack happened in North Carolina and she said she was only in water that was like waist deep. And it ripped off her leg for the most part and she had to have her, her leg amputated from the knee down and she lost a few fingers as well. Her father came out and saved her from the shark. He ended up punching the shark as hard as he could and brought her to the hospital. But it was such a touching story because at the end, she said basically that she's not a shark attack survivor, but a shark attack thriver. And that made me think a lot about everybody, we're all, what we're all going through right now. Uh, a lot, there's a lot of people that are struggling, myself included. And there's a lot of crap that's coming down. Uh, I, I noticed that a lot of people are having bad dreams. They're getting attacked in the astral realms. And that happens to good light workers. As a matter of fact, when your light is that bright and you're in the astral realms, you got to stay protected. And if you're not protected, you can be attacked. So be sure you put those intentions out there to protect yourself. But I do know a couple of people that have been attacked in the astral realms. Uh, and actually these attacks sounded more like abductions than anything else because there was the, the mind wipe that happened with them. So just be careful out there. I wanna remind people that you can find me on Twitter now, I know I don't talk about Twitter very often, but there is a Twitter page for N5D, and you can find me here at Greg Prescott 1, G-R-E-G-G-P-R-E-S-C-O-T-T, -G -G the number one, and uh, subscribe. Now, what I find about Twitter versus Facebook, I, I love both of them. Facebook. I love because it's, it's more spiritual. I have a lot more spiritual friends on Facebook than I do Twitter, but there are a lot of awakened people on Twitter that just happen to post more political things, which I keep track of because we are going through the, the great awakening right now. And it's all part of everything that's coming together. Not everybody has to follow the political side of the awakening. What I do because I want to reach as many people as possible. And uh, this is all part of the great awakening. And when you go on Twitter, you can just check out, for example, you know, the things that I, you know, my tweets, it's pretty much everything I post on Facebook with a few exceptions. For example, here's one of German Chancellor Angela Merkel glitching out. <laughs> possibly to a lack of adrenochrome. Of course, she said that it was dehydration, but I don't think anyone's buying that. Or you can go up here to uh, tweets and replies and see what I'm replying to. Because it is different here on Twitter than it is on Facebook. So if you haven't subscribed on Twitter, be sure you do that as well. And you can even click the likes and see what I'm liking, <laughs> what I'm reading and what I'm liking. Here's one by Sabine, who's actually Terry Wade, one of our writers on N5D. Here's a Jenny B. She shared one of our articles. Here's something interesting, too, that I wanted to talk about as an afterthought, because I did cover the Schumann Resonance 
in my last video. So for two days in a row, we've had a high amplitude around the 90s. And as you can see right here, you know, on the chart on the left hand side, let me go full screen. You can see it peaking out at 92. And then it looks like maybe 91 or well, just under could be around 90 right here. But for the last two days, right around 90 on the Schumann amplitude. Now, I'm not 100% sure what that means on amplitude versus frequency. But what we do know is that it's ramping up. And if we go to N5D right here, this is from the uh, article Schumann Resonance Amplitude maxed out at 150. It brings us to this picture where on March 17th, the maximum amplitude of the Schumann resonance was 150. That's that's as much as you can have. That's that's the peak. You can't get any higher. So we actually hit the 90s in the last two days on the Schumann resonance, which is really high, but it can actually go higher. As I mentioned, oh, that happened on March 16th. What caused this spike in the Schumann resonance amplitude? It could be a number of things: solar flares, a weakening of the magnetosphere, plasma discharge from the sun, coronal mass eject ejections, etc. Okay, and the frequency differs from the amplitude, although a rise in one generally means a rise in the other. The average Schumann frequency for our planet is 7.83 and so on and so forth. What we're witnessing are the precursors to the event. The most obvious signs is when the sun turned from yellow, got to change that, it says form, <laughs> from yellow to white as we began entering the photon belt. And I go on to talk more about the photon belt on N5D, but I wanted to bring that to you guys right there and tell me what you guys think about the Schumann amplitude ramping up to the 90s in the last couple days. So on Facebook yesterday, I got this message. And what happened was I only posted, I, I posted an article on Facebook and I shared it to four of my pages, uh, Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit, Zentasia, I'm sorry, Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit, N5D. I have a Greg Prescott page and Woo Woo Media. And then I shared it to the Zentasia group. And I got this message when I shared it to the Zentasia group. You're temporarily restricted from joining and posting to groups until tomorrow, which will be today at 11:48 p.m. if you think this doesn't if you think this doesn't go against our community standards let us know i let them know <laughs> and it didn't matter because i tried sharing later on and i was still blocked so i won't be able to post until another half hour from now when i'm making this video but by the time you see this video i should be able to share in other groups so that's just Facebook, once again, screwing with me, and I know that they probably have been screwing with you as well. Now, I did mention Zentasia, and what I've been doing on Zentasia is fine-tuning it. And this is uh, another website that I have, and it just looks so cool with the template that I, I, I put on this. And this is uh, today's uh, latest articles right here on Zentasia. And I figured something out yesterday on how to make the categories uh, come up a lot better. And what I did was I just went in the template, just minor um, stuff, but changed a few things around. And now the template for the categories looks great. What it was beforehand was it was posting the full article under the category, which didn't allow you to really scroll through and see what all the articles were without having to go through each article one at a time. So this is what it looks like now. So and it, right here on the right hand side, you can see what are the most popular posts that are on 
Zentasian, I find it interesting that the interview with Walk and Soul is number one. I don't know how many people out there have had Walk and Soul experiences, but you know definitively when you have one because something in your life will change drastically. My ex-wife and my daughter would know <laughs> specifically when I would have a walk-in. They would see something change within my life. And I got to the point of where I can see when I've had walk-ins as well. My last walk-in, for anyone that knows me, this is a, actually a guitar shirt. I have a Kramer guitar. And for those of you who know me know that I like playing hard rock. I used to play lead and rhythm guitar in several hard rock bands. But when my last walk-in came in, all of a sudden, excuse me, <coughs> all of a sudden, I used to listen to ambient music on TV. Now I started listening to big bands, <laughs> which is totally uncharacteristic for somebody who loves hard rock. So I'm like, okay, another walk-in came in. But, and now I'm wondering if I had another walk-in again, because all of a sudden I'm eating fruits and vegetables and anyone that, that knows me, yeah, I, I, I like fruit, but I just don't buy it. And I'm not crazy about vegetables, but I bought fruits and vegetables and I'm eating fruits and vegetables, which is highly uncharacteristic of me. So I'm thinking another walk-in came in again. And what happens is when you get a walk-in, it's basically an upgrade. Your body absorbed as much light and energy that it can, your soul, body, everything, the whole incorporation. And when you get a walk-in, they bring in that capacity to bring in even more light. So you'll know if you've had at least three or four when these changes happen, or you might have seen these changes in other people. So on my last video, I played a clip from Aluna Ash, who was talking about these three waves. And later on, I think it might've been the following day, she put out another video. And let me play you a clip from that, where she's talking about these rainbow energies and experiencing that. And when she, what she ended up seeing was pink and purple lights. Let me play you that clip. So for a group of you, you may remember me speaking about the rainbow wave event. Some of you experienced this yourself, so you know what I'm talking about. Florbrun is another one who experienced this. She has a channel on YouTube. And she experienced this visually and physically just like I did. So I'll explain a little bit what this rainbow wave event was. March of 2018, March 20th, 2018 is when I experienced this. And it was basically a wave of light. It was a purple, pink, misty cloud that came through. And I got warning about this before it even hit. And I actually was getting messages. I was getting the intuitive awareness about this. Days before it hit, I remember the day it hit, I kept knowing that it was coming. I could feel it. I was being told. And then right before the wave actually came, I got the message to go lay down like immediately because I knew it was coming and I remember like laying down on my bed and then I kept looking out the window and I saw it coming and it permeated right through the walls. It was like basically moving through my yard, permeating through my walls and moved through my body. And the color that I saw, and it was at night when I saw this, but I was still able to see the color even with all my lights off in my bedroom. And it was this purple pink color so that video came out on the 17th two days before that i recorded this video this is a pretty amazing sunset going on right now here on siesta key beach so we got the rainbow there you can see it going right up here it goes up and around comes down right there right past Point of Rocks, probably right around Turtle Beach. In the meanwhile, we got this going on. And check out the purple and the pink that's going on. I've never seen this show up 
on my videos before for a sunset. So it's, it's really interesting. So you got these lights that are happening too that are going on in the sunset. You see that stuff? Look at that. It just makes everything purple or pink. Never seen this happen before here on Siesta Key. So here we have two days before Luna put out that video, me showing the rainbow along with the purple and pink lights, colors that Aluna was seeing when these energies came in. So it's awesome to be on these kind of synchronicities with people. And once again, the same thing happened yesterday when I was on the phone. I was talking to a friend and I was mentioning about the rabbit incident that I spoke about on the previous video that I made. And uh, so while I'm talking to her on the phone, I go outside and what's there? The rabbit on my front porch again. <laughs> As I'm talking about the rabbit, it's right there. So I thought that was pretty cool. So it made me once again, go back and look further into the spiritual meaning of the rabbit. And this is what I found. And I think you guys will dig this. Okay, spiritual meaning of the rabbit, the bringer of good luck. Rabbits bring good luck, fortune, and abundance. Therefore, their appearance in your life might be a sign that good luck and fortune are coming your way. It is a messenger of future blessings and surprises. And of course, it's a messenger of spring, which implicates new beginnings, a new life. Interesting. Growth and abundance. If you're feeling lost or that you need a new beginning, then the rabbit is a sign that it is time for a change. Be brave and prepare yourself for a new life. Now it goes on to mention that it's the circle of life and it's a symbol of love. But this is the part that I thought was really interesting. The spiritual meaning of rabbit is numerous. A rabbit also symbolizes shyness, growth, harmony, and awareness. The rabbit also symbolizes rebirth. So rebirth is something that I see as perhaps turning into a light body, having the DNA activated, so on and so forth. So for, to have this rabbit consistently come into my life, especially on these synchronistic occasions, you know, after Aluna had spoke about it in one of her previous videos, that's when I saw the rabbit initially on my front porch. The following day, I opened up my garage and the rabbit's outside of the garage. And then yesterday, I'm talking to a friend on the phone about the rabbit and it's on my front porch again. So pay attention to these messages. And often when I get these messages, I feel like it's not specifically for me because I was given this galactic download to, to build in 5D and to put these messages out there for humanity. And that's what I think that this is. This is a message for humanity. We're on that precipice of rebirth. I just want to remind everybody that there is ad space available on n5d.com. There's a banner on top, uh, one above the Schumann Resonance, and I believe there are two on the side here as well, starting at $100 a month. So if you have a business or a service that you'd like to advertise on N5D, follow the link advertise on N5D and then email me at ads at N5D.com and we can have your ad up within 24 hours. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to our N5D Patreon page because on there you will, will receive exclusive videos, uh, behind the scenes videos, afterthoughts videos, mid-month energy report, and I do an exclusive article every month as well. And they're all based on different tiers so starting at like a dollar eleven or a month, a month or more, uh, you can be listed on our N5D Patreon Wall of Eternal Gratitude page, which is also on N5D. Uh, as you go up in donations, the benefits increase. That's what this video is. It's the full version of the afterthoughts that I'm offering to you uh, today on YouTube. So you can see what um, is I'm publishing every month on Patreon, and hopefully you can be part of this as well. And to all those who are watching on Patreon, I greatly uh, and humbly appreciate your support. So I'm going to leave it off at that. I'm sending you all infinite love and light. Until the next time, this is Greg from N5D.com. Namaste.